was made for good content. What you want, Liam? Uh, oh, you know, fuck. Alright, what's up, y'all? Are we already know? Got the gang here, Lil P. What's up? Shot ready? Yo. <laughs> Is this Shot Ready's first video? I don't even know. Well, first one we might post. Uh, we, we got the Chubby's video coming soon. Anyway, today we are trying out uh, the Alessandro's. Mm -hmm. Peterson's favorite spot. First meal clocking in at 2.41, of course. You already know. Getting actually worse at this, I don't know how. But, uh... It's 2.40. Yeah, not 2.41. Misinformation. What are you doing? I'm posting false information on the web. Why? It's fun. My fault, my fault. You know, I gotta spread the, the facts. Uh, first bite, got a pretty healthy, decent looking cheese It's like my 12th bite. Pierce was on his 12th bite. One bite, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> it's actually one half. Well, I already ate my one half, so I start. If you want to analyze the cheese thing, you, you can go for it, Beth. All right, this cheesesteak is good. It's got the meat, the onions, the bread. And it all comes together to make a cheesesteak. You are correct, sir. Not wrong. <laughs> Not wrong here, no man. lies, no lies. Uh, this it's is a little soggy. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Soggy probably because we had to, We drove all the way back with it. Yeah. Um, Dude, I got like perfect firmness on the bread. I can't yeah. even lie. Like my bread's hitting. Childhood favorite of mine. I accidentally ordered ketchup on mine. Don't do that. Don't order ketchup? Don't order ketchup on your cheese. I don't know. I feel like this cheese is a bit dry. I feel like it could use some ketchup. No. No ketchup. No, you don't think it's a bit dry? Or no, you don't think? No, I think it's perfect. Norton, what are your thoughts? It's dry, right? No, nah, it's just soggy. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's greasy. Not dry at all. What? My thing is bone dry. Mine's not dry. Probably because you got that ketchup. I mean, now you're gonna. I'm anti ketchup. Honestly, I feel like ketchup. So why are you putting why ketchup, are you putting ketchup on? Because it's so dry. I just told the audience not to put ketchup on. Never put ketchup. I don't put ketchup on Philly. my steak, dude. Unless, unless. This is their credibility stuff. <laughs> unless they offer like ketchup on the steak, dude. I'm not putting ketchup on it. Also, we got to think of this cheese steak order. I was talking with my friend. You know, the American with fried onions, a true Philly classic. My friend said I need to put pepper jack cheese on a cheesesteak. I personally disagree with that one. But, like, what do you guys think? Do you put pepper jack on your cheesesteak? Nah. I can American understand. only. I can understand maybe provolone. I feel like provolone's a... Yeah, provolone's. It's a top five cheese, for sure. Top, maybe even top three. I don't, what you should do is go back to all the places you already reviewed. Try it with pepper jack. And try it with pepper jack, and then you'll know. Or then you try a pro one. You should like try to figure out the perfect cheesesteak order. Mm. Alright, back to Q&A with Owen. Um, <laughs> let's see here. How many 10 year olds do you think you can take in a fight at once? I'm putting this in the video. 10 year olds? Um, I think I could take like... 25. 25? That's a lot of 10 year olds. Yeah, but like, they don't know fighting. I could just curb stomp them all. That's true. That's, that's still right. Do I get like a weapon? If I got yeah. a baseball bat, I could take like 50. Okay. But you just gotta think about like how heavy the 10 year olds are. Like, how much do you weigh? When are we talking about killing kids? People are gonna hate this. No baby gronk. What is that, water? Yeah, that's some agua. Oh my bad, you need that yeah, bad. Your mouth a little dry, right? Yeah, man. Your mouth I'm eating little... food. That's nah, typical. Your mouth a little dry, right? Isn't it? Isn't it? Your mouth a little With dry. With any meal you eat, you typically have it's a bad. The cheesesteak, bro. I forgot the bed. It's not the cheesesteak. My cheesesteak's not dry. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it is a full cheesesteak, though. I yeah, could, they they do fill it with a lot of meat, uh, and yeah. that's important. I give them props for that. Yeah, but there's there's just not a lot of flavor for me here. You know. I feel like this is generic. I feel like Dells is having an off day today. Usually, no. an off day, no. bro. Dells is hit or miss. Dells is a place you take someone not from Philly if they want a cheesesteak. I think Dells is a drunk person cheesesteak now. No oh, man. But pre-COVID, they were so much better. I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. It's because now people don't have to watch them making the cheesesteaks. So the yeah. quality, straight down up. It wasn't overpriced, thank God. 13 bucks, I feel like it's pretty fair for a cheesesteak. What's the average price for a cheesesteak? Average? 
I've never really thought about it. I feel like they're a thirteen to fifteen dollar range, honestly. Although I feel like fifteen is pretty high for a cheese thing. Now I'm thinking about it. I feel like the cheese. They is need a little. They need one more slice of cheese. Yeah, in there. I, I, I think. I think the cheese is like woven well here, but it's just not him. It's the meat. It's got to be the meat, dude. Not enough. Tell you, they just had an off day. An off day? Maybe their main cook's sick or something. Maybe it's on Christmas break. This is what yeah. I expect from Dells, though. Like. I'm going to Dells if I want a cheesesteak, but oh, not shit. the best. Oh no, nah, I'm going there if I want French fries. But not the <laughs> best cheesesteak. Like if I'm down bad, I'll go to Dells. A drum roll for Alex's rating. Well, I'm going last. Oh, right, you're going last. Right, I went first then. Um, seven point eight. What? You lying? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good. I, I have no clue what I rate the other places, so I'm just. So, so I, I like that. I think it's a little low. Um, I'm basing my morning off of my like past no, experiences you can't before. Base it off of but past because this is not their typical. Dude. The first time I'm I had sorry, girls, it was I'm, a freaking ten, dude. This is not. Yeah, a I'm not saying like all the way back when they're like goaded, but I'm saying like. The other week when I had Dells or something, yeah. like like right. recent. Why, why are you such a hater? Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna go with a eight four. Eight four. Eight four in general today, I'll, I could bump it down to more like a seven nine. Me personally, like I shouldn't have got the ketchup. I already told you I'm a Dells hater. Hater alert! Hater alert! Hater alert! Thanks for the bev. <laughs> Dude, water's good for you. Yeah. What's your rating? Let me finish this bite. It's dry, I need a sweep. Liam, Q&A with you. Oh, Q&A time, hold on. Let me no, 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 here. don't worry Q&A. No, Q&A um, before the final who, rating. Who do you think is a go? MJ or LeBron? Oh, this is a good one. We could go on on this for like 30 minutes here. Please um, <laughs> You know, I'm gonna have to go with MJ. Facts. MJ over LeBron. Um, Man, there's times I can't stand LeBron. All right. All right, let's get to Alex's rating. After taking a lot of time to deliberate, I have come up with the rating of a 6.8. Why? That's so low. That is, this that's too is low. Dry. That's too low. It's got almost zero flavor. Uh, the only thing I can say is that it has a lot of steak. I feel like it fills you up. It's, just, it's good quantity. Honestly, I've seen. I feel like yeah, I at least bump up for the way that cheese mixes in with the meat. <laughs> Dude, I, I just can't. I just can't. Like, nah, the cheese to meat mixture is amazing. Dells has fallen off so hard for me. It just has. It's okay, buddy. We lost a good soldier. You did. I still think they're there. You just blew in your eyes. I guess. I guess. I guess. Anyway, six eight. Uh, lowest score by far. Leave it up with it again. I feel like Dells is. Either if you're not from Philly, or if you're just completely wasted, uh, or, you live the, close. or you live close, those are the three options. That's gonna be it for today's video. Wait, we didn't finish Q and A. No, we're done Q and A. No, no one more. It's two more pleasure. Uh, I'd like to thank Alex for providing me the opportunity to be here today and eat this wonderful cheesesteak that yeah, we you got, speak so poorly of. We got the Jan comeback coming in. Uh, what, what year? 2023. Yeah. We're gonna be killing Hopefully. it. Hopefully. We're gonna be more consistent next year, guys. Got a lot of prep coming up, but yeah. Road to a million. Yeah, that's right. the goal for next year. One right. mil. Actually, the goal is a thousand, but. Nah, think He's aiming ambitious. too low. One mil. One mil. Let's get him to one mil. If you get him to one mil, I will write each of his subscribers a check for $50. You heard it here first. Peterson said one mil, you all get 50 bucks. $50 million down the drain. That's all. <laughs> to, to you guys. As always, please remember to hit that like, comment, and uh, subscribe button. See you guys next time. Peace. Peace.